the start of a new basketball season. Exciting and full of potential for these Tigers. But it's also bittersweet because it's Loveland's first in years without one of their most beloved teammates. Uh, we are dedicating this season and this game all to Coach Parker. He was such an inspiration to all of us. Darnell Parker was head coach for the girls' basketball team for five seasons. While battling stage four colon and liver cancer, he led the Tigers to back-to-back -back conference titles in 2020 and 2021. But his fight ended this summer when he died in July at just 44 years old. He was so positive and so happy and you know, throughout his journey of going through the toughest thing in his life. In the months since Parker's death, the Loveland community remembering him any way it can. First as posthumous grandmaster in the school district's homecoming parade. Now, by recognizing his family at the girls' basketball home opener. Accepting the honor, one of his two daughters, his mother Nina. I am honored and I feel blessed and I feel loved. And Parker's widow, Samantha, who stood at center court holding their infant son, born just a month after Parker's death. There's not another person that I could have picked for my son to be a better father than who I did. To carry on his legacy, Parker's daughters founded an athletic scholarship in his name. It's funded solely through donations. And as you can imagine, it's already garnered thousands in support. Me and my sister started it like probably a week after he passed and it's doing really well. I think we have like $25,000. It's clear for this community, Parker was more than just a coach. I think it meant to teach these young ladies life and to be tough and to never give up. His life left a lasting impact. He was my coach since for my whole life. One that will echo on the court through both his daughter and this Tiger team with each dribble, each score, each embrace for years to come. It wasn't just about basketball. It was about the game of life for Darnell Dayon Parker Jr. In Loveland, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.